Hello, everybody. Men's and woe men's. I've got here a 2013 uh, Cushman Hauler 1200X. Uh, love the card. It's got electric dump bed, um, roll bars instead of the little cheap golf cart tops and stuff. Uh, this has the 13 horse 401 cc Kawasaki engine. Um, it it has always done good up until the past uh, two months. And my fuel pump, I've just been having so much fuel pump issues. I've read everything on uh, on the interweb uh, about how to fix these things. I've been on different forums uh, and just can't find anything that seems to work for me. It starves for fuel when it gets up and runs. Uh, it'll crank fine, sit there and put around the yard fine, but once you floor it and start trying to gain speed, it will just, when it gets up to higher RPMs, it will just stall, just like you turn the fuel off. And then it'll starve itself out. And back down to an idle, and once it hits idle, it'll pick fuel up and, and, and repeat the cycle. Uh, I have done everything. I've changed fuel pumps twice. Uh, I have all new fuel lines. Um, I've added aftermarket air filter obviously um i've changed jets in it multiple times trying to tinker with it. i'm pretty proficient with carburetors um i've got uh i've got all kinds of dirt bikes and street bikes and and i tinker with with the carburetors and exhausts and such like that tuning them but this one has kicked my butt really has the fuel pump i have moved the vacuum pump from here um because it just wouldn't work and it, i was getting pulse um but under high RPMs, the pulse would go down and the pump would quit working. So I don't know what causes that. You got tired of fooling with it, like I said. So I moved the fuel pump down here, uh, put my filter down there, hoping the siphon effect would help the filter or help the pump, put it in the car. What, what then happened is this is my pulse tube coming from my um, rear end, or the uh, crankcase. And I got oil back bleeding back, I guess because this now my pump was so low it was oil was coming out coming through my filter so that was a nightmare and a headache so uh anyway what i decided to do i just had a, a you know a no-brainer basically every time i would take my carb off every time i would take it off change jets uh see if there's trash in it again or whatever i would i would take and i put this hose on the tube that i had going into my charcoal canister that's been uh, bypassed but anyway i would take this hose and i would hold my filter uh, i'd hold my filter and line up above my tank then i would blow in that hose and of course it pressurize the tank push fuel up and it would fill my filter up that's the way i would prime my filter then i'd take and put that on my carburetor well after doing that a dozen or more times um i finally said well if i can get gas to my carburetor by blowing on that line and pressurizing that tank just ever so slightly why don't I just bypass the pump and make it pressurize the tank, make the engine pressurize the tank and just be a, a, a circle, just, I mean, just be a revolving door, basically. So now I've created, even though it's gravity, I've created my own fuel pump with pressure and and uh, siphon technology, if you want to call it technology. It's uh, So this is what happened. I just basically took the vent tube out of my head where it went into the carburetor, this went in the carburetor. Obviously, I put a screw in there to stop dirty air from getting in the carburetor, getting in the engine. Took and hooked a vacuum line up to the vent tube coming out of the head, which does nothing but blow uh, gas fumes back in, unburnt gas fumes back into your carburetor to be burnt again. Um, so I put those fumes back into the tank which slightly, very, very slightly pressurizes the tank. Um, the vent on your gas cap um, is more than adequate to uh, vent the pressure off of your, your tank. It, it's no more than one or two PSI of pressure on that tank, but it is enough to pressurize the fuel and help the fuel be pushed down into the filter and back into the carburetor. So it's just, it's just, a cycle it starts here pressure goes from here and it goes up or you can say that it starts here and once the carburetor sucks fuel it gets the siphon effect and you know once all this is full and there's no air leaks 
once your full your fuel is used from here obviously it's not going to pull air so it's got to pull fuel so it's just a siphon effect plus i have the added little bit of pressure to go here so i've bypassed the fuel system the fuel pump rather created my own fuel pump with with the vacuum with with the siphon basically um and with a little bit of pressure from the head so uh it works great absolutely works great um i've had no stumbling issues i've probably got an hour on this as of now um my filter is still full of fuel it's never starved for fuel it always has more than enough fuel um it it does great i don't see a downside to it as of yet i just really don't um, i hope this helps if you're having fuel pump issues um, this was super simple and all you need basically is a little bit of extra hose that's all you need to do this um, so it, it seems to be a very very simple fix to a very bad headache that i've been having for a long time with this cart uh, I'm fired up. There, it's running. It's, quick. it's cold. So you... Yes, I bypassed the governor. I've, I've bypassed all that. Um, so, um, it does good. I have went up and down some very, very steep hills, as you can see. I, I live in the mountains of western North Carolina. My water reservoirs way back up in there and uh i have a very very steep steep driveway getting it or steep road logging road getting up in there i mean it goes really really steep and winds back and goes back to the reservoir this cart goes up there easy um so anyway there she is and uh i would recommend if you're having any type of fuel issues fuel pump issues man just make it gravity just make it gravity and again if if uh you're smarter than i am which it doesn't take a lot but if you you have more um knowledge than i do about maybe something uh that what i've done can cause something uh cause some problems later on please let me know um the only issue that i know of is anything coming from the head getting in my fuel but obviously my thinking there should be absolutely nothing in the head um it's just it's just air um it's just fuel and then you got your spark obviously so if anything gets in that fuel from the motor i've got a whole lot bigger problems than worrying about dirty fuel getting in my carburetor so that's my thinking anyway uh hope this helps and hope you enjoy the video subscribe if you want thank y'all